NAC is the world's foremost high-pressure aluminum diecaster. At our headquarters in Hastings, Nebraska, research has been proceeding on the crudely conceived idea of an aluminum casting process that would not only supply inverse reactive porosity for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal grammeters that will virtually eliminate hexavalent foam, fluorolyzed bunicasticate, and gray matter oxymoral dross. Such a process is the aluminum encastigator. This was the idea. 41 monastically placed grouting injectors were arranged to fade into the shock chamber a mixture of aluminum alloy, high R value phenylhydrobenzamine, 5% remonative tetriodohexamine. As you may remember from your high school days, bauxite plus these liquids has specific periscosities given by the formula P equal 2.5 S times 6 to the 7th power over N, where N, of course, is the diethical evolute of retrograde temperature phase disposition, and S in that formula being Chaumangelet's annular grid coefficient. Now, initially, N was probed, and here is where we had a great deal of trouble with the isometapolar refractive perforometer. And of course, for a description of that ingenious instrument that saved us a great deal of work, we referred to Dr. Rupert Duncloud's book, The Schrift ver Electro Technical Statuser Blitzer. That was Duncloud's seventh volume, I believe. But up until now, nothing has been found to equal the Transcendental Hopper Datascope. And for that, our engineers referred to the Ojibwe Academy of Scatological Sciences, which I believe was that was January 1944, that meeting. Now I understand that this description may sound a bit complicated to the layered, but even experienced die-cast engineers will appreciate the difficulty of nubbing together a regurgitative purwell and a supernative wind sprocket required to drive the hydraulic vacuum diluter. Indeed, this proved to be a stumbling block for further development until in 1975, it was found that the use of anhydrous nangling pins enabled a cryptonastic bowling shim to be tankered into the holding bath. The aluminum encastigator has now reached a high level of development and is, and is being successfully used in the production of nofertrinions. And moreover, whenever a fluorescent score motion is required for shot acceleration, it may also be employed in conjunction with a drawn reciprocation ding alarm to reduce sinusoidal depleneration. Now we realize that $64 billion in government grants is a great deal of money, but we at Nebraska Aluminum Castings believe sincerely our customers are worth it. Thank you.